okay? Uh, everybody doing good? We, um, we looked at yeah. last week, uh, I'm sorry, last week, feels like a week ago, we looked at Tuesday, prefixes and suffixes, you all either were here to seed it or um, could potentially look at it on, um, on YouTube. Um, one of the big ideas with that one is we're trying to build vocabulary and this is one way to do that, looking at prefixes and suffixes, um, the beginning and the uh, endings of words to um, do a couple of things, build vocabulary as well as to help us, um, help us to uh, identify words that we don't know especially on like a high takes, uh, high takes, high stakes test like the GED. It's super good to, um, or super important to be able to read through a passage, find a word you don't know or a phrase you don't know, uh, and be able to um, potentially be able to, um, to extract that information and, and give a good idea of what's going on. Sorry, there's like a million things happening here. And I have Sheila, how's it going? Sheila just popped in. All right. Um, oops. Um, so we looked at prefixes. Those were the beginning of, uh, beginning of the words and those patterns to build vocabulary suffixes. Uh, changed the word meaning and they were at the end of the word um, and I gave you a whole bunch of uh, attachments for last week's uh, lesson so you can check them out if you want as well as several uh, YouTube videos. Today we're going to look at Greek and Latin um, roots so what I want to do is I want to screen share with my safari zoom. Okay, so we are going to look at. I'm gonna bring that, make that small. Okay, can you see what I'm seeing? Probably not yet, right? Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. All right. Um, so we are looking at. What I want you to see is this document. Nope, this document. That's the document. So we're going to look at 42 of the most common Greek roots and then 42 of the most common Latin roots. Okay, you'll start to see um, the root word, I'm sorry, the root and then the English meaning and then there's going to give you examples. Hopefully you will see um, a pretty decent pattern. Uh, beforehand, I do want to uh, look at a couple of uh, little mini videos here about Greek and uh, Latin roots. Again, this is patterns that we can see uh, and utilize, especially with words that we do not know. Okay. All right. So let me start this so everybody can see. Hello and welcome. All right. So you can see her, correct? Everybody? Yeah. Right, sweet. Latin and Greek root words. In this video, you'll learn tricks for spelling, reading, and understanding the meaning of words. Let's get excited. Before watching this video, be sure to watch the video called prefixes and the one called suffixes. Then come back to this one. We already did. You already know that prefixes are groups of letters that come before a word that change the meaning of the word. And that suffixes are a group of letters that come after a word to also change the meaning of a word. In this video, we will look at the main words or the root words that prefixes and suffixes are often attached to. 
It's important to know word origins or roots to help you spell, read, and understand the meaning of words. When you know the Latin, Greek, or French meaning of the word, you will better understand the English meaning. Be careful though. Not all root words are words by themselves. Many need prefixes or suffixes to be actual words. Let's look at some example of root words. The root word by is Greek for two or twice. Can you figure out how to read these words then? Can you also figure out their meaning? So I think again, uh, just to stop real quick, I think of it almost like a math. This is as close to math that you get in grammar. So by plus cycle, by meaning two, cycle means wheels, bicycle, two wheels. You, you've ridden one, I hope. Um, bifocals, that's two, uh, two, two different, um, like a bifocal would be you either are seeing like distance and then your bifocal would be for you to see you, uh, while you're reading. So deep, two different strengths on your glasses. Since cycle means to pedal in a circular motion. See, she knows. And by means two. This word means two pedals in circular motion. We know it as this object. There you go. We ride with two pedals and also two wheels called a bicycle. Since focal has to do with focusing the eyes and by means two, this word means two lenses used to focus with the eyes or bifocals. Let's look at another root word. Inter is the Latin root meaning between or among. The word international then means between nations. The word internet means between networks. Fun, isn't it? Super fun. Ist is a Latin root word, specifically from the French. It means someone who does. In English, we have dropped the final E in this root. A person who styles is called a stylist. Mm -hmm. A person who works with flowers is called a florist. A person who plays the guitar is called a guitarist. What would a person who cares for teeth be called? Yes, a dentist. Dent means teeth in French as well. Do you see how knowing the meaning of root words helps you understand the meaning of the whole word? It will also help you spell the words when you want to write them. Here are some common root words. Can you guess their meanings? It would be impossible to memorize all the root words Hello. in the English language, Hello. but you can practice some of the more popular roots in our fun games. Until next time, always be clever. In your iPhone. Okay, yeah, all right, you're in. I, I am Diona. All right. iPhone's Diona, sorry. All right, iPhone is Diona. I have two iPhones now. So let me stop this one. We'll go back real quick. Go back to the regular sheet. All right, so I wanted to look at, this is kind of all three second, sections, so it'll help everybody who- Over is morphine. Super fun stuff, but we're looking at prefixes, suff uh, prefixes suffixes, and then uh, the Greek and Latin roots. And we will then uh, we will be practicing that in a minute. Okay. Welcome to this lesson. Just a warning: this lesson is going to be a little academic. It is intended for high intermediate to advanced students. That's us. This lesson will give you the tools you need to take 2,000 words and turn them into more than 15,000 words.
trust me, I did it in university. Actually, this is the first in a series of lessons in which you will learn how to create new words and understand words that you have never seen before. After this lesson, you will know how to describe the structure of a word and you will have the vocabulary that you need to take yours to the next level. We will cover the terms morphine, root, affix, prefix, suffix, grammatical suffix, derivational suffix, the last and part word not. family. <laughs> the first word we'll cover is morphine. This is a word that is used in linguistics. It is used to describe a group of sounds that is meaningful. For example, the word morphine has two morphemes in it. Morph and eem. Morph means shape. And eem means meaningful. We know that they are separate, meaningful units because they can be added to different words while having the same meaning. For example, morph is used in the words polymorph, an organism that can take many forms. Metamorphosis, the process of changing form or shape. Morphology, the study of morphemes. Morph, this is a verb that means to change shape. Morphogenesis, the origin and development of biological forms, etc. The list goes on. Eme is a technical morpheme. It is only used in linguistics. One of the words that uses it is phoneme. Phone means sound, and eme means meaningful. So a phoneme is a meaningful sound in a language. All words are made of morphemes. English uses two types of morphemes, roots and affixes. Roots can exist independently. They do not need to be added to anything else to be used in a sentence. For example, eat. If you try to separate e or t, they have no meaning on their own. Therefore, eat is a root. There are two types of affixes, prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes are added to the beginning of a root. We talked about a them. suffix is added to the end. It is possible to have several affixes added to one root. For example, the Latin root civ or civis means citizen, a person who is a member of a state. Many roots can be added onto it. For example, ill. This gives us the word civil. It has three meanings. One is belonging to the affairs of a people of a state. For example, civil law. These are the laws that govern citizens, as opposed to members of the military. It can also mean polite. If we add the prefix un, to create the word uncivil, See the this means not polite. We could say his behavior was truly uncivil. With the word civil, you could add the word eyes, meaning to make or become, and create the word civilize, which means to make more culturally advanced. Adding the suffix ed to this creates the word civilized, meaning being in a culturally advanced state. And uncivilized means not being culturally advanced. And it goes on. We so that's just an example. You have six different words happening right there, okay? With just that root and adding either prefixes or suffixes it's where we're hoping you can see that uh, we're seeing patterns. Could create many more words. The point is, that one root can take many affixes, and suffixes can be added to other suffixes to create even more words. Let's slow down for a minute. There are actually two kinds of suffixes, grammatical, 
All right, so we're gonna stop it there. I do want to go over some of these. Um, so you'll see the pattern here. Anti means against, opposite, we talked about that. So antiseptic, antibiotic, uh, antibacterial, anticlimax, okay? These are, again, if you split the word up, like antisocial, social probably means hanging out with other people. Antisocial is somebody who doesn't like hanging out with other people. Okay, astro, generally speaking, is gonna mean star. So you have astronomer, astrology, um, astronaut, <clears throat> astrophysics, asteroid. Auto means self. Autograph is something you sign yourself. Automobile, you drive it yourself. Autobiography is a unique biography. That's a story that you tell other people about yourself. Only one person can write your autobiography. Um, <clears throat> automatic, uh, and then autopilot. Bio means life, so biology, study of life. I know ology, and we'll get to that, means study of, that's the in the Latin section. Um, uh, biotic, uh, autobiography, biomechanic, bionic. Crone, or chrono, time. So chronology, chronograph, Chronic is something that happens all the time, uh, things like that. Cosm uh, means the world, or cosmo means the world, so cosmos, uh, I'm sorry, universe or world, uh, microcosm, uh, cosmology, macrocosm. Crassy at the end, this is a suffix. Anything at the end with uh, crassy is type of government, so demo democracy is a Government that is of the people, theocracy, government that would be ruled by religion, autocracy, and then technocracy. Um, crat, very similar, is a member of that type. So your Democrat is a, a particular member of that type of government. Theocrat, same idea. Cycle, that's wheel, so we have bicycle, tricycle, unicycle. DEM means people, so Demograph is types of people that live somewhere. Democrat is a person, again, going back to that democracy, person of democracy. Demograph, uh, demographer. Then geo is earth, so geologist, somebody who studies the earth. Geography, the study of earth. Uh, geophysics, how the earth functions. Uh, geometry. Next one, gone is angle. So your polygon is a shape with multiple angles. Um, your octagon has eight angles. Your pentagon has five angles. Hexagon has six, okay? Septagon has seven. Uh, and you'll start to see these patterns. You don't have to necessarily bring these all to memory, perhaps, but it's good to know them. So anything ending in gram or graph is something that you can draw or write. So photograph, uh, is can be drawn um, graphic polygraph telegram hemi and semi are the same exact they mean half so your hemisphere is half of the earth so you have talk about your northern and your southern hemisphere or your eastern or your western uh, hemisphere okay um, graphic polygraph ooh, I skip one uh, semi sweet means half sweet uh, Hemicranial is half of your brain. <coughs> Excuse me, semi-annual. Uh, hydro and hydra means water. So hydrate, hydrometer, we're seeing the patterns here. Hyper means over or too much or a lot. Hyperspace, hyperactive, okay. Hyperactivity, we're really hammering that. Kilo means a thousand. This is why it's odd that only three countries use the the uh, type of measurement we do because everything else is done by uh, tens and kilo means a thousand kilogram is a thousand grams kilometer is a thousand meters okay kilobyte is a thousand bytes kiloton is a, is a thousand tons um, mania means crazy madness or insanity so pyromania is somebody who is crazy or has a madness for fire kleptomania somebody who has a madness or an insanity for stealing um, bibliomania, I think is reading, somebody who reads a lot. Uh, megalomania, that would be somebody who's like super, super 
um, crazy about themselves, okay, thinking they're big, and then maniac. Uh, MEC, mech, has to do with machines, so mechanic, mechanism. M -E -A, uh, mega means big, so megabyte, megalopolis, uh, megahertz means big. Meter is a measurement of, so kilometer, a uh, somebody else is coming in. Marshall must have got kicked out. Uh, hydrometer, somebody, uh, that is something that measures water. Um, speedometer, obviously in your car, uh, can, or somebody can measure you going, how fast you're going. Odometer is how far you've gone. Uh, micro means small, so microphone, mic, um, micrometer, uh, microscope, looking at something small. Miss means bad, badly, wrong, or wrongly, so mistake, misbehave is to behave wrongly or badly. Misnomer is to name or not understand something correctly. Mon or mono means one, okay? Uh, so monotonous uh, means you're doing one thing and it's super boring. A monotone is one tone. Monarch is somebody in charge that's just one person. Monotheist is somebody believes in one God. Um, and then moving on. Ologist at the end, that's a suffix, is somebody who studies. So a biologist studies uh, life, geologist studies the earth, astrologist studies, um, what do we have here? This, this is, okay. Um, pan, that means also, or believing in also pantheism, believing in multiple or all gods. Panorama, that's like on your phone when the panorama view came out, that was so you can see 180 degrees or more um, in, in almost a circle. Pandemonium, uh, pandemic. We're going through one of those, right? That uh, every part of the globe is 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 uh, dealing with this coronavirus. Path means suffering, sickness, or disease. So pathological empathy, sympathy. Moving on, phobia. This is one you probably all know, right? Fear, hydrophobia. Somebody who's scared of water. I assume that would be somebody who can't swim, maybe. Uh, acrophobia. Um, agoraphobia, that's like fear of big places and a lot of people. Ablutophobia, I don't know what that one is. Uh, satanophobia, that's somebody who fears Satan. Um, phone or phono means sound, so microphone, telephone. Um, you're seeing the patterns. Photo is light, okay? Um, so your photograph happens when a light, photon, photosynthesis, that's growth through light. Uh, phys has to do with something with the natural body or natural sciences, so physics, physiology, metaphysics, metaphysical. Pod or pee, ped, that's having to do with your feet, okay? Pedal, we call ourselves bipedal. Um, that means you walk with two feet. Um, Podiatrist is somebody who studies or a doctor of feet. Um, pedestrian is somebody who walks, okay? Um, tripod it has three legs for a camera. Uh, poly means many, so polygon, many shapes, um, many sides, excuse me. Uh, polynomial, many numbers. Polytheism, believing many gods or many beliefs. Psych means having to do with the mind, so psychopath, psychologist, psyche, psychic. Uh, scope is something you watch, okay? So microscope or you see through um, scope, stethoscope, okay? Um, tele means distance, so television, telephone, telescope, okay? You can see from a distance or see it. Theo means God and religion, so theology is, is your belief system religion. Theocracy is, is a government run by that. A uh, theocrat, theologian is somebody who studies God and religion uh, and pantheon. Therm means heat, so thermal, thermostat, thermometer, um, measuring heat, okay? Tri means three, your triangle, uh, trilogy, trident, you know, that fork with three prongs. Your most common Latin roots. And I want you guys to use this like last time I talked about cheat sheets. Um, your ANN or ENN is yearly, so anniversary, that happens how often? Once a year, annual, once a year. Millennium is once every thousand years. Centennial is once every 
hundred years and perennial is yearly. Uh, aqua, having to do with water, aquarium, aquamarine. Um, odd has to do with your sound, so audio, audible, you can hear me. Audience is somebody who listens, right? Or a group of people who listen. Benny means good, so benefit. You have a, a particular benefit or benign, that's a, with a benign tumor. I think any tumor would be bad, but in this case, this uh, tumor is not cancerous, okay? Which means it's good or, or, or um, at least won't kill you. Beneficial, something that happens that's good. Bi means two, so bicycle, two, two wheels, binary, two numbers, uh, bifocal, two uh, focuses. Cent means a hundred. Okay, so you, we have a hundred cents equals a dollar, right? Uh, centimeter um, is a hundred, a one hundredth or a hundred of them fit in one meter. Uh, uh, centurion is somebody who is in charge of 100 soldiers. Uh, your percent, this is where we get this word, percent. If you have a 99%, you can, that's just a fraction, 99 out of 100. Percentile is the same idea. Like if you score on the ACT in the 70th percentile, you are um, uh, doing better than 70% of uh, the other students who took that test. Uh, circum has to do with around. So circumference goes around a circle, circumnavigate, uh, navigating around the globe, circumscribe. Um, so con, co, col, and com is connecting or with together joined. So connecting, collide, that's when two things hit each other, company, uh, cooperate in common. Contra means opposite or contro means opposite or different. So contrast, you're looking at black versus white, uh, big versus small, you're contrasting two things. You're looking at two separate things. Uh, con uh, contradict, uh, contrary, and then your credit is has to or creed has to do with like a belief. So credit, credence, like your credit is the bank believes or the credit card company believes that you will pay or have the capacity to pay that money at some point. Credence, credible, uh, incredible. Um, dict is a having to do with saying or speech. So your uh, diction is how you speak. Contradict, um, prediction edict, verdict, these are having to do with uh, saying and speaking or speech. Fract is a break, so fracture is a broken bone. Uh, fragment is a part of something. Uh, refract, uh, breaking of an angle, uh, fragile. Uh, moving on to inter means among or between, so interval, internet, we went over that. Ject means to cast throw, so eject, interject, um, trajectory. Lumen has to do with lights, so illuminate, illumination, uh, luminous. Magna means big, okay, so magnify means make bigger. Magnitude is, has to do with how big something is. Magnanimous means like really great and big, uh, magnificent, same idea there. Mal means bad, okay, wretched or evil, so malcontent, uh, malice, uh, that movie Maleficent, that's where that comes from, M-A-L, that's bad. Um, and then M-E-D-I, meaty, or medi or meaty, it means in the middle, so medium, median, medieval was a time period in between two time periods. Um, migrate, or M-I-G-R, has to do with wandering or movement, so migrant. Migrate means to go from one country to another, an immigrant is somebody who does that. Immigrate is to move into another country. M-I-N means less or small, so mini, minus, minuscule. Mort has to do with death. So immortal, it's a prefix. M means not, no death. So immortal would be living forever. Morgue is where you would end up, where the dead end up. Uh, mortal has to do with um, immortality, and both of the mortality, mortician, somebody who deals with death. Multi means many, okay, multiply, um, multitude. Uh, non means not, so nonviolent, nonfat, nonstop, nonverbal. Omni means all. We consider this is a prefix, the God prefix, right? Uh, omnipresent, somebody or something that is always present. Omniscient, something who knows everything. Omnivore, somebody or something that eats um, every type of food, uh, whether it be meat, uh, vegetables, um, 
uh, or fruits. Omnipotent, all powerful, uh, omnivorous, again, it's like somebody who is uh, an omnivore. Uh, pre is before, so previous, predict, uh, predicate. Prenuptial is an agreement before a, wet, a uh, marriage. Quad means four, so um, quadruple, quadricep, that's four muscles on your leg. Q U E R I R uh, e S and I S are going to be having to do with asking. So quest, question, inquisition, quiz. Re means to do again. So redo, uh, rewind. It means to wind again, uh, resubmit. Scribe has to do with something written in scribe and in, in scripture, uh, in script. Scent or sense has to do with your feelings. So sense, sensitive, sensible, sentiment. Spect means uh, having to do with watch, look at, so specter, spectacle, spectate. Struct means building, putting together. So construction, construct, structure has to do with building or arranging something in a way. Uh, sub means under, so your suburbs are away or under uh, the, the, ta the town or the major city. Subway goes underneath, submarine, same idea. Uh, tempo has to do with time, so temporary, temporal, uh, contemporary. Um, the su suffix T-A-I-N has to do with hold, so retain, contain, maintain. Uh, tract has to do with pull, tractor, attract, pulls you in. Uh, contract um, holds that together as well. Uh, trans has to do with across or beyond or through, so transport, transmit, transcribe. VAC has to do with empty, so vacant, vacant vacancy, vacuum. Um, vid or vis has to do with seeing or a visual, so visible, video, um, visit. Volve is a role or turn, so convolve, revolve, turn again. Uh, revolution, revolver. Uh, I don't know what this is. I triple checked this list. <laughs> Uh, I stole it from the internet, so I don't know who Steve is. Let's give IXL an opportunity here, and you guys can help me out with looking at the Greek and Latin roots. I don't want to, I want to see who's doing the diagnostic. So if you're new, I would really love you to spend some time to do the diagnostic um, and, and complete that so we get a better, more specific um, outcomes there. So if, if your name's down here, um, you haven't finished the diagnostic. So I challenge you to um, try and do that. So you'll be given, um, let me, I'm going to harass Marshall. You'll be given from Marshall um, specific things to do in math and specific recommendations in language uh, arts um, for those sections as well. Let's go to learning. We are going to not be in math because I don't teach math. We will be in uh, language arts. So I'm going to go only to third grade. Might go up a little bit. We'll see. We'll go down to vocabulary building, and we're looking at these Greek and Latin roots, okay? So it's going to give us these Greek and Latin roots, and we're going to try and come up with the kind of the math what do, what's the two meanings? So biology is the study of living things. So we're given the answer. The root bio means life. What does the root L-O-G or logi mean? The study of something. The study of something, okay? So that could be biology, uh, geology, all these different things. Ology is the study of something, okay? Next one, we're looking at thermometer as a tool that measures heat or temperature. The root meter means measure, okay? What does the root, ter uh, the root therm mean? So we heat, know- Heat. Yeah, very good. So it is heat, okay? Uh, and you know, we don't measure anything by coolness. We measure everything by whether lack of heat or intense heat. Wonderful. A telephone is a machine that can carry the sound of someone's voice somewhere far away. The root phone means sound. What does the root telly mean? Far away. Far away. Bingo, bango, got it. Sweet. 
Uh, homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings. The root phone means sound. What does the root homo mean? Same. Same. So yeah, a homophone. Same. A homophone is like there, there, and there. They have three different meanings: two, two, and two. Okay. Oh, okay. Spelled completely different, have different meanings, but they sound exactly the same. Homophones in English are what makes English so difficult to learn. If mm -hmm. you are a um, what we call an English a language learner or an ESOL student learning um, English as a, a second or a third language, um, like there's a ton of them, like deer and deer. They're very, very different, yep. okay? Okay, moving on. The root port means carry. What does the word support mean? To carry uh, weight of something, to measure the weight of something. Carry the weight? Bingo. Um, a biography is a written account of someone's life. The root bio means life. What does the root graph mean? Write or draw or measure? I want to go with. Uh... Um, Here's the hint. Okay, oh, right write or draw? Yeah. Yeah. I think the draw throws you off. Yeah. A microscope is a tool that you, uh, is used to look at something too small to be seen just with your eyes. The root scope means look at or observe. What does the root micro mean? Small. It means small, what? small yes. Small. As opposed to macro, which would mean large. Let's look at uh, the next one. An autograph is a person's signature written in his or her his or her own handwriting. The root graph means write or draw. What does the root auto mean? Sound or own or self? Own or self. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Own or self. Very good. The root phone means sound. What does the word headphones mean? A device that put in your ears to let you listen to sounds of music or music, a device to put on your eyes to let you see things more clearly. The first one. Yeah, that's kind of a goofy one. <laughs> All right, um, the root bio means life. What does the word biochemistry mean? A branch of science that studies the uh, chemistry of living things, a branch of science that studies chemistry of sound, or the branch of science that studies the chemistry of light. Bio means life. So which one? First one. Bingo. Yeah, the Kicking. first one. Very good. The root scope means look or at or observe. So what does kaleidoscope mean? A toy that plays different sounds, noises, and music for you to hear. A toy that you look at different moving shapes, colors, and patterns, or a tool that lets you, uh, let you carry or move things from one place to the other. Middle one. The middle one, yes, very, very good. Um, the root meter means measure. What does the word barometer mean? A study of changing weather, a map or drawing that shows weather in an area, a tool used to measure the air pressure and predict changes in the weather. C. C, very good. C. Yes. yes, a barometer do, uh, does that, specifically looks at the pressure. Brilliant. Okay, helioscope. It's a, is a word, I'm sorry, a tool that is used to observe the sun. The root scope means look at or observe. What does helio mean? Carry, sun, write, or draw. Helioscope. Uh, Here's your, that's your, very, very good. Our next one, megaphone, is a device that makes your voice sound deeper or bigger. The root phone means sound. What does the root mega mean? Carry, look at us, observe, or big. big. Awesome. Big. Sweet. So let's go back. There are some other sections here. 
of the Greek and Latin roots. So we are determining these, okay? We are picking them. Okay, we'll do a couple of these and then finish up with the rest because we have about five to six more minutes before you have to go to math. Wah, wah, wah. All right, the word microscope contains the root scope. What does the root scope mean? Life, measure, look at, or observe? Look, look, look at or observe. Look at or observe. Very good, awesome. Uniformity contains the word uni. What does the root uni mean? And again, when you, when I give you the email with all these cheat sheets on them, I call them cheat sheets, what we just saw, the 42 different, utilize that. When you look, look for uni and you'll see that it means what? Many? No. Uh, one. Universal. Yeah, when you, one. See, when you yeah. see uni, I want you to think of like the a unicycle. So somebody, a clown. Unicycle. Yeah, unicycle is, is one wheel, okay? Right. Uniform or unity, it's one. Uniformity in specific is one uh, looking as one type, okay? Okay, look at the roots below. Which one means two? Try, bio, or buy? I'm trying to slip you up. Bye. Bye, very good. Bye. Bye. Very, very good. Homophone uh, contains the root phone. What does the root phone mean? Does it mean look at or observe, measure, or sound? Sound. Sound. Yeah, yeah. So you can see that we're kind of cranking through this. I don't mind if you start at a higher grade and then move up. Your goal is to. I did. Huh? I did that in the. I did that in the eleventh and twelfth grade. Okay. So yeah, and that that in my book means that you've accomplished that, that you've got that skill set, and you're gonna maybe move on to the next skill set. And then as you do that with the diagnostic um, and you specifically work on those items, your scores or your diagnostic level should go up and we should see that, that growth. And then talk about doing the um, official practice test on mygd.com and then actually doing the real okay. deal, okay? Autograph okay. means graph. What does the root graph mean? Shape or lines? Draw, uh, write or draw or measure? It's to measure. Write or graph. I think. Write or draw. Yeah, think about what an uh, somebody. Oh, yeah, graph. Get, yeah, if you get an autograph, it's it's written. Okay. Yeah. Look at the roots below. We have, um, we're looking at the one that just means measure. Graph, bio, or meter? Meter. Larry, would you take Perfect. our glasses for a second? Huh? I'm talking to Larry, sorry. Okay, no biggie. The word biography uh, contains bio. What does the root bio mean? Life. Life, perfect. Awesome. Uh, the word support contains the word port. Port means? Carry. Very, very good. Yes. We're just kicking butt. All right, let's, let's go to the third section, which is what? Determining the meaning. And we sort of did this a little bit. So uh what does the word support mean to carry or weigh uh the weight of something to measure the weight of something carry the weight bingo moving on real quick headphones a device that you put on your eyes or your ears ears yeah. ears the device that goes on your eyes are on your glasses <laughs> or bifocals <laughs> yes bifocals uh biomass this is the total mass of the rock of rock on the earth or the total mass of living things on the earth rock on the earth no living things on the earth living things yeah. bio yes bio means life so living, living things. Thing. um cartography a map that shows far away place a practice of drawing and making maps said so that last one the practice of drawing yeah so a, a cartographer is somebody who studies or can do that, make maps and drawings. Uh, size, seismometer, a tool scientists use to measure the motion of the ground or a tool scientists use to listen 
to life forms that are live underground. <laughs> life forms that, yeah, that live underground. It's a tool. So it, it, it's, a, it's the first one. It measures, so a seismometer or a seismograph. Uh -huh. Uh, when there's an earthquake, we don't have too many. This is not one that's super common that we would hear too much. We don't live like in California or anything where they have many more earthquakes. Um, but uh, uh, that measure, it's measuring the motion of the movement of the ground. Okay, that one's a tough uh -huh. one because you have to know that background knowledge. Kaleidoscope. So we're looking at either a toy that plays sounds and in, in noises or a toy that lets you look at different uh, moving shapes, colors. Oh. Mm. Second one. Yeah, the yeah. Last one. Very good. Um, for, uh, the word porter means a person who puts your groceries into bags or a person who carries your bags. Person who carries them. Yeah. When you go to the port, the porters carry your bags onto the cruise ship. Um, symbiosis, a measurement of weight of two different things or a helpful relationship between two living things. This is uh, the, the last one. Yeah, that's the cheat part. Bio. You see the living. Yeah, thing. bio. The last one. So um, wonderful. Keep it up. All right. Stop sharing. All right, my friends. We have eight minutes, seven minutes before you uh, have to suffer through a math class. Good luck <laughs> with that. Okay. Um, you know, I'll, I'll spend the next quick eight. question. Okay. Yeah. For science and social studies, uh -huh. who teaches that class and when is it? That's me. And we, we are going to do it in classes or I will assign social studies and science articles on Newsy LA. We, just okay. the reason why we don't have specific classes for that is that um, both science and social studies are reading tests. So we want to build our reading first, and then we can build that background knowledge in social, uh, uh, social studies and sciences uh, as well. Uh, both of those tests, okay. all you have to do is read articles that are science-based or social studies-based in um, it's basically reading comprehension. So we always want you to do your language arts first, and then you can do science and social studies, because if you can pass language arts, you probably can pass the other two. And then usually people spend uh, their remaining time doing fun math, super fun math. So um, okay. if you, I will stay on for the next couple of minutes if you want to ask me any more questions or anything like that. Um, but other than that, we are good to go. Um, Mr. Mr. Turner. Yes, Marshall. What's up, buddy? What would you suggest I? What would you suggest I do for homework? I definitely so, think you you need to probably. I would think your goal is one or two articles every day, and getting a hundred on each one, or seventy-five or hundred on each one. Uh, okay. And, as well as doing the recommendations on the IXL. Jury, would you write that down, please? Yeah. Why he just said my homework? Do you know? You got to me. He would tell you he's right here. Okay. I don't remember that. You don't remember it right now? Uh, Mr. Turner, can you please tell me? Yeah, so um, I would, what I want to recommend is that he looks at at least two, one or two of those articles. He gets to pick them. I'll assign some of them, but on New ELA, as well as doing the recommendations. So he took the diagnostic. So under the diagnostic on IXL, there's recommendations. Doing those and then going back and doing the diagnostic, more diagnostic questions is going to help raise those scores. Yes, I would do that. Okay, thank you. All righty. Thank you. No problem. I'll see you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye-bye. We'll see you. Bye. 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 Bye.